Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Mathematics. Happy to see you here. Today we have a very interesting question from entrance examination x square equal to 2 to the power x. And you can easily write your solution down into the comment section and we will check our answers here in just few minutes, so it will be really interesting. So a lot of students might be saying, okay, x square equal to 2 to the power x. Maybe x equal to 2 because then we have the next expression. We have 2 square equal to 2 square. Yeah, x is equal to 2 and that's it. A lot of students solve this question like that. And another part of students say, okay, maybe let's try to solve this question from geometric perspective. Let's try to draw a quick graph on the left side so we know x square. So this is like something like that. And you know, 2 to the x, this is our exponential function. You know, we have something like that. This is like approximately, yeah? And a lot of students might be saying, okay, right here maybe we have root, so x is equal to 2. But what about another root? This is a very tricky question because a lot of students forget about this root. Right here we have point of intersection. This is negative root. A lot of students forget about it. And on the this point, maybe this line intersect, maybe in infinity, we don't know exactly, but maybe we'll have the third root. It turns into a big argument. A lot of students arguing with each other about this question. So right now let's try to solve it. Let's try to find all possible, all possible roots. Okay, let's do this right now. First of all, let's apply natural log on both on both sides. Let's do this right now. So as a result, what do we have? Natural log of x square on the left side, and on the right side we have natural log of natural log of two to the power two to the power x. Right now we need to know a really interesting property. These two will come down right here according to the basic uh, basic log log property. Whenever we have, for example, natural log of a right here we have b, we can easily write this b in front of this, not natural log a. So we have b times natural log natural log a. Let's do this right now, but with one really tricky moment. We can write right here, we can write 2 times natural log, but don't forget about that this x can be negative, okay? So we need to put absolute value, absolute value brackets. Equal to, right here we have x times natural log 2, x times natural log, natural log 2. Right now let's try to group our variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. For this, let's divide both side by 2x. Okay, we're gonna divide, I hope you see this, so we're gonna divide by 2, by 2x. Two we're gonna divide both side by by 2x. As a result, we have 2 natural log absolute value x, we're gonna divide by 2x, and we're gonna divide the right side. So we have x natural log 2, we're gonna divide by, by 2x. Right here we're gonna cancel x, and right here we're gonna cancel, we're gonna cancel 2. What expression we will have? We will have the next one, we will have natural log absolute value x over x, equal to natural log 2 over over 2. This is our expression. So we split, we have our variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. And right now really tricky moment because we have right here two cases. I'm going to start with the first one right here on the on the left side because x is positive because let's start with the x is positive. So our first first solution to this question, first case, x is positive. When x is positive, we will have the same expression but without this absolute value brackets. So we have natural log uh, x over x equal to natural log 2 over over 2. So this is our expression. How can we solve it? For solving this question, we need to know about Lambert W function. Extremely important part uh, for our question. Let's remember a little bit about this Lambert W function. Because whenever we have an expression, looks like that, a times e to the power a, whenever we have a structure like that, a times e to the power a, so whenever we have ex the same expression right here and the same expression right here, when we apply Lambert W function, as a result, we have only, only our a. Okay, extremely important part. For example, we have Lambert W function of 5 times e to the power 5. This is equal to 5. And right now let's try to create this type of expression on the left side. Instead of this x, this is a very tricky moment, so instead of this x, let's write e to the power natural log x. Let's use like a quick substitution, a quick change. So x equal to e to the power natural log natural log x. Okay, this is our expression because we need to have e for this, for applying Lambert W function. We don't have this e at all, so we need to create instead of this x, let's write e to the power natural log x. Let's do this right now. So we have natural log x divided by e to the power natural log x, e to the power natural log x. Instead of this x, we're going to plug in this one, as I told before. Yeah, we can easily see this right here. Equal to natural log 2 over natural log 2 over over 2. Really great. What are we going to do next? First of all, we need to remember a really important property. Whenever we have expression like 1 over a to the power b, when we ra when we bring this to our numerator, we need to put minus, so a to the power minus b, okay? And right now, let's, uh, let's write this expression in our numerator, but with the negative sign. Don't forget about it. So we have natural log x 
times e to the power minus nature log x, don't forget about it, equal to nature log 2 over over 2. Really great, so we just bring this to oven to our numerator. And if you look closely, we have e, we need to have e, yeah, we have it. Right now, if you look closely, we have nature log x, and it looks like we have the same nature log x, but we have negative, okay? So for, for better understanding, we need to multiply it both sides by negative 1, okay? Let's do this, let's multiply it both sides by negative 1, or divide, doesn't matter. We're going to multiply it by negative 1, and as a result, we have minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x, equal to minus nature log 2 over over 2. <laughs> really great. And right now, if we look closely, minus nature log x, for example, this is our a, minus nature log x, this is also our a, and we have the same structure that we really need, a times e to the power a, so the same expression right here, the same right here, we have e, so we can easily apply lambert w function to this expression. Let's do this. So what do we have? Lambert w function of minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x, equal to lambert w function don't forget about the right side minus nature log 2 over over 2 really great and right now as i told before this is a this is a lambert w function of this expression is equal to a so on the left side we have only a which is equal to minus nature log x on the right side we have lambert w function of minus nature log 2 over 2 and don't be scared about this about this expression on the right side this is a constant because a nature log 2 is a constant 2 is a constant and when we divide it is also a constant and lambert w function of a constant this is also also a, a constant in our question okay right now let's multiply both sides by minus 1 because we need to have uh, only uh, x so from here let's multiply both sides by minus 1 so we have only nature log x equal to minus lambert w function of minus nature log 2 over 2 yeah really great what we're we gonna do next i'm gonna show you a really important trick because we're gonna apply base of e on both sides we're gonna write base of e on the left side and base of e on the right side if, if for us for us it changed nothing but when we have e to the power nature log x we can easily write instead of this we can easily cancel this nature log and e we can easily write it f x so on the right on the left side we have only our only our x so we have x equal to e to the power minus lambert w function of minus nature log 2 over over 2 and this is looks like our answer but first of all i'm going to show you a really interesting trick because instead of this nature log 2 over 2 we can write one half one half times nature log nature log two. So instead of this expression, we can write something like that. And one half, this is our square root. So we can easily write it as a power of this of these two in a reverse way. Yeah, we had the same property before, so we can write it in a reverse way. And our answer from here, x is equal to x is equal to e to the power minus Lambert W function of minus nature log of square root nature log of square root of 2. And this looks like our answer. This is a constant. This is also Lambert W function of a constant. This is also like a, a constant. And yeah, this is looks like our answer. Let's write it. Okay, let's write it. From here we have, so from this case, don't forget about the, the step when we have like a negative, uh, yeah? So x first and second equal to, equal to, let's write it as 1 over. So let's write it in our, in our denominator with the positive sign. So 1 over e to the power lambert w function with the index of n because this lambert w function has a lot of indices minus nature log square root of 2 okay minus nature log square root of 2 this is our answer according to a first according to a first case but don't forget about the second case because we still have we still have the second case this is a case when x is is positive when this value when absolute value of x is is positive we have we have this answer but don't forget about the negative one but i don't want to solve it with the negative one because we have absolutely the same step absolutely the same principle absolutely the same algorithm we just don't have right here we have right here a negative and step by step we will have absolutely the same answer i'm going to write this answer right here like for you to check so we have x third x third right here equal to we have minus uh, right here at this point minus one over minus one over e to the power lambert w function of nature log nature log square root nature log of square root of two 
this is our x third. And a lot of students are confused because of this root. They say, okay, where is our answer? And I say, um, calm down, guys. Let's look closely. This is our absolute value of x is less than zero. And let's look closely. What do we have? This is our um, value that we can easily uh, plug in in a calculator. And here's like the, the, the most interesting moment, because when you plug in, this value in your calculator, when you plug in it with this all lambda w function indices, when you plug in it, you will get two roots. The first one, x first equal to equal to two, and x second equal to we we didn't get it before, x second equal to four. So from here with this absolute uh, with this lambda w function index, we have two roots. And you know a lot of students might be saying, okay, mister, I knew this roots, I knew this root, this is a very obvious root, but what about this excern? This is like a mm, extremely important part right now because when you plug in this excerpt in your calculator, we will get the next step. Excert equal to minus 0 0.7 Six, six. And there is no way you can easily find this root without this without this solution. A lot of students say, okay, x first equal to 2, I can easily find it because we have x square equal to 2 to the power x, of course, x is equal to 2, we can easily find it, we have 2 square equal to 2 square, and 4, you know, we can easily check this 4 right now, so this is our answer, x first equal to 2, x second equal to 4, let's check this x second equal to 4, so we have uh, 4 square equal to 2 to the power 4 equal to yeah this is a correct a correct expression so a lot of students like 99 percent say okay correct answer is 2 without a solution maybe 10 percent of students think a little bit with the graph they say okay correct answer is also 4 because we have second point of intersection so maybe right here we have 4 square equal to 2 to the fourth and they say correct answer is 4 but what about this absurd this is a very tricky moment because a lot of students forget about it maybe one percent of students guess that okay right here we have point of intersection mystery yeah we have it right here at this point so this is our 4 at this point and this is our minus 0 0.766 and this is extremely tricky tricky moment and without a graph a lot of students are mm, confused because they say okay 2 and 4 and that's it but with a graph we can we can clearly see this point of intersection and this is our minus 0 0.766 which makes this question more interesting for everyone because yeah this is a great a great a great thing so let's write our final answer to this question here on the on the right side for example so our answer our answer to this really interesting question so x first equal to equal to 2 x second equal to 4 and x third is equal to minus 0 0.7 766. Right now we can see a graph, just look at this graph, just look at this point of intersection and try to understand where it's our points of intersection so you can easily see all the things right here, which is extremely great. So I wish you all the best in your life, take care of yourself, I really hope you understand this explanation, I really hope you learned something new, I try my best to make math as clear as possible for everyone, and wish you all the best in your life, take care of yourself, write your notes, write your response down into the comment section, what do you think about this uh, this type of question, it's extremely important, it, this is extremely great uh, for me. Wish you all the best in your life, take care of yourself, and have a great day, see you in the next videos.